Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food, with Keto Under 20 today. Why am I smiling like the village idiot? Because I gained a pound! I'm at the top of my um, <clears throat> two pound fluctuation, and I feel it, and I've felt it every day for a week now, and I don't know what it is. I've had one of those good culture cottage cheeses every day and I'm wondering could this be the culprit I just feel this uh, in my belly and it feels it, you know like this bloat and I'm not sure if it's cortisol from the stress of the cottage or 99% humidity every day or some lactose intolerance showing up with the with the cottage cheese uh, who knew but I must I must be doing some stress eating, and so I am pulling in the reins. I don't like this at all, and it, it really is. It's a full feeling, and um, not that I'm not eating, you know, like feeling too full to eat. I never feel that way, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, hmm, I just don't know what it is, and I don't like it. So that's my true confession. So today I'm taping this. It's a Thursday, so it's a messy Thursday. I'm not happy. And I just I just feel it right there. Um, uh, maybe if the weather, I don't know. I don't know. You know how it is when you get on the scale? And I only weigh myself once a week um, because I know how insane this can get. So I'm going to try to not focus on that. But it is. it was um, the high number with point zero after it so it's at the very top of my game and I said that if indeed um, it ever showed up like that then I'd be shaving some things so there goes the good culture cottage cheese for today and I do it just for today you know maybe tomorrow I will feel different um, but right now it just feels like a lead balloon is in my tummy like like the old days. So I'm just thinking, could this be the lactose intolerance? And I, yesterday I had two salads, and um, I don't know. Uh, I added the sunflower seed um, nut butter unsweetened from Trader Joe's, and um, you know all the calories were 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 tracked and weighed and measured and everything else. So. I just feel like this newbie with the why. Why is this happening to me? So I'm just being honest. I'm just being regular old Sarah today. And um, yeah, after having my my lowest low was 928. And my next lowest low was 1012 two weeks ago. So I'm just not sure what is causing this. And uh, keep keep posted because you know I'll be talking about it. So what do you do when that happens and you think you've been doing everything right? And I know the fluctuations because that's why I gave myself a two-pound window. And it's been working for me and I've considered myself on maintenance and I still do. But I don't know what has gone on except for from stress and cortisol, which um, those things can add on weight. And I'm sleeping well enough. I'm practicing self-care. My fluids are the same. So like a lot of you that go through something like this, um, it's just an uncomfortable what's going on sort of moment. And um, so that's that. Now I will switch over to non-whining things. That wine took four minutes, way too much time. Um, but I don't know, what do you guys do if you do consider yourself at a good place and um, all of a sudden there's a fluctuation and it's just, it just doesn't seem like why would this be after um, months of being on the low end? So, keto under 20 what it means to me well today I'm still having my I'm having my um, big a salad with for dinner with a pork chop 
And into the salad goes the radicchio, the red cabbage, one ounce of feta cheese, one tablespoon of my mixture of evu, which is, um, which is olive oil, and um, the macadamia nut oil, one tablespoon of that, and, um, oh, I didn't put the celery in. I wonder if I counted it. Um, one half ounce of cauliflower crumbles, and I think that's it. I'm also having a three ounce hunk of cucumber with my first meal of the day, which will be two eggs scrambled with um, one, one ounce of Neuchatel Organic Valley cream cheese and one ounce of Organic Valley Munster cheese on it and two strips of bacon. And that will be my lunch as opposed to what I've been having every day, which is the good culture. And um, so I will have that. And it clocks in at under 1,300 calories. And um, I had my Bulletproof coffee this morning. And I will have another cup of coffee at around 9. And then I go in to work tonight. And perhaps um, this is night shift weight gain too because I, I always hear about that and how um, that screws up our metabolism. And I agree wholeheartedly with that. Um, so I do best with two shifts in a row, and then if, if I'm doing a third shift like I am tonight, I've had a day in between to kind of get back to my daily metabolism. And so, life on life's terms, right? And sometimes it's just not what we were hoping for, and it's not like it's 5 or 10 or 20 pounds. It's the one, but it feels like it's solid and it's right there in my belly. Um, so that's what I'm having today. And who have I been watching? Let's see who I've got. I've got, um, I've got some goodie beats coming up. Who is Logan? And I've got, um, he seems to be showing up a lot. Um, Dr. Eric Berg, nine common mistakes everyone makes doing keto. I've got, um, Water weight with Scott the truck driver that's new and coming up. Um, Keto Connect has how to make homemade Quest bars, which I won't be watching. And um, Chris Kruger, he's got a podcast out that says um, the one reason you're fat, so I'll be watching that. And always Holista, who is Aaron, and Keto Christina. Those are always on my short lists of people. Um, also, like Carol Friedman, she's got an interview with, um, although it says new to me, I know it's been there for a week, Victor, Christopher, and Keto Cookie. Jason Whitrock, I always like listening to him, and Thomas DeLauer, who I watched his yesterday, and it was why juice uh, fasting isn't a good idea. And, of course, it's with fruits. Um, Michelle Rock has another 17-minute one out with a full day of eating keto, easy meals and snacks. I always like that. And Paulette has Weight Loss Wednesday, so I like that. Catherine Michelle has a couple out. Um, Dairy Bliss Diet, uh, that is Kate, who is doing mostly a, a dairy diet, so I'm watching her. And, uh, Dr. Berg is on live. Hmm. I've already watched it live. So anyway, those are the people that I'm watching probably today, if I can. Um, it's been pouring. We had four and a half inches of rain yesterday, so I didn't walk. And when I woke up today, I have um, cottage issues that I'm dealing with that include ordering blinds and things like that. So it's a slow go. So I'm doing that first thing in the morning when my energy level is at its best. So that's the deal with me here. So it's keto. I'm disappointed. I don't know what the deal is. Of course, you will know because I do a podcast six days a week. So you will see what is up with that. But I'm just being a true confessor. There's been no grain, grains or sugars or artificial sweeteners or um, diet pop or fruits 
so I know that I'm having um, keto it's been under 25 um, even with the cottage cheese but today the keto the um, cottage cheese went away so I'm under 20 and keto under 20 is a great reducer of all things bloat and stalls and everything else but not the calories so I up the fat and I lower the um, carbs and that's how I'm rolling so this has been Sarah pearls of wisdom and food smiling like the village idiot <laughs> and figuring out what's going on in my tummy thanks so much for watching bye bye for now